What is this place? Our clothes closet. We keep a collection of dresses and suits for clients who go to trial. It makes a better impression than their baggy sweats and wife beaters. It is also Gwen's fight the power workspace. This stuff smells, smells like a... Dirty uh... socks, pumpkin spice candles, and potato chips. Oh. This interrogation is so foul. The sneaker prints, Kyle. The ones by the broken window where the killer broke in. The treads match your sneakers exactly. And that's lie number one. Sneaker prints don't match. Yeah, they're allowed to lie to the suspect. Yeah, but just watch. We got the results of your polygraph. This spike here says you're lying. No, it can't be. Lie number two, the lie detector test was inconclusive. You were high. OK, you broke into your mother's house to steal money, which you had done before, Kyle. OK, you got an argument with her, and that's when you stabbed her. No, I swear to God, I was with Alana. Here comes lie number three. Because we spoke with Alana. She said you weren't with her. But I was. That's a lie. This went on for 19 hours. So what's your next move? Alana, she's a delightful stripper friend, probably a drug buddy. The cops picked her up, but she refused to talk. Kitson never talked to her? Kitson was never the same after that Second Avenue murder trial. Surprised he didn't check out earlier. I didn't kill my mother. Please. I thought he was just another annoying, guilty client proclaiming his innocence, but now I'm thinking that he actually might be innocent. <laughs> 